know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. What's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Yes. Uh, Harry was popping. You ready to rock oh, and man, roll? Oh, man, you know me. You yeah. know me. I'm ready to rock and roll all the time. I'm always rocking and rolling. I don't need to be ready. I'm outside. I'm outside. We outside. We outside. Even though we're technically... I'm on the block. <laughs> I'm not in Miami. I'm just come on the block. Come see me. Uh, that's my impression of uh, Jada Kiss. Yeah, just killing, killing the push him up boys. What'd he say? He's a dick and you pussy, y'all yeah, neighbors. Y'all neighbors. neighbors. <laughs> it's the greatest. Uh, we got special guests that's in the right. building. My motherfucker, I ain't seen him in a minute. It's We've been, been missing phone calls, all kind of shit yeah. tapping. But you know. I ran, uh, into, ran into him on the street. That's how we got him on the show. The Literally streets. speaking of outside, I ran you into was him. was outside. I was really outside. was outside with him. We really were outside. outside. What are we doing? You, yeah. Did you say, did he say that to you, Sneak? I said, what are you doing? What are we and he doing? Goes, well, I'm just going to the comedy <laughs> cellar to see a show. I go, but that's inside. <laughs> and he goes, I know. All right. Anyway, and we're like, all right. He's got, he got some updates and stuff, some questions. questions. He's got questions we, we and got stuff to of, tell us. We got a yeah, lot of I got a lot to talk about. I, I didn't even tell him. Look, let's off, introduce him. Off the, the audio. Ladies and give gentlemen. It up, give it up for Sneak on my Sneak-o. dog. Bro. What's up? What's up? What's up? What up, baby? We back. It's good to be back. We outside. We really we outside. <laughs> so you had a lot. You, you, Sneeko was like. Right. Two days ago, I went to a, a sex party for the first time with my girl. Oh, what? And that was a, sex party? a play party, they call it. Okay. Yeah, a play party. Nice. On All Halloween right. night. And that was, um, I saw her with another man for the first time. Oh, you let her fuck? Uh, that's, it's, it's a play party. Like, it is what it is. You got you you to gotta be allowed. You gotta go What's play? your choice? Your choice? I mean, it's it's her choice. If we're gonna go there, like you gotta leave all the rules at the door. Fair enough. And like she she's we've done threesomes, you know, mm. like many times. It's 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 her. It's fair. That's it's equal. Uh, and I yeah, just nah, not with it. Not with it. Not with it, it. Not like with it. it at all. You didn't I, like it. Nah. Did it nah. change you with her about how you see her or no? Or did you just or did you go look? I asked for this. Um, I I gotta eat it. Um, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really judge her for it. Cause like we were going to swap with a couple and yeah. I was with, uh, that guy's girl. And I just like, I, I would rather be with my girl right now. Like right, I, right. she was mm. not, she was not more attractive. Park. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, why I don't want, why am I doing this? I'm letting him fuck my girl. Was she, was she in the ballpark? Like on the all-star level? Same thing? Nah. Nah. She wasn't. She wasn't <laughs> nah. close. Nah. See, that's the problem. Nah. Nah. So all right, so we got to do more sample, uh, another sample size here. Yeah, yeah but the swaparoonie, like, it's not, not always the bad. It's not for everybody. It's yeah. not yeah. always not. The, it's not all the, the bad bitches don't really show up for the swaparoonie, no, yo. Not all the time, no. How many how many hotties was at the, the play party? They were all. We were the youngest people that there was most people in the thirties, forties, and there were not that many bad bitches though. They're not there. And the thing yeah. was, I'm there with the bad bitch. Yeah. So all the bad, all the women want her, and all the men want her. Yeah. And I'm just there, desire by maybe three women right so everyone's on her all these like i see him walking around when we first walked in and like they're having the drinks it's like that fake conversation to socialize everyone's looking at her, like i want to fuck the shit out of her and i'm right. just like hey no, guys no, what are you guys doing? i'm just a goof like i don't need to be here right. nobody wants me here when yeah. when this is real in real life as sneako everybody want to fuck you. Yeah. 
Uh, but not in the not in that scenario. I mean. But uh, but I'm saying in real life, she's just another broad. You the motherfucking sneaker. Uh, I guess. I guess. Nah, to tell the truth. Tell the truth. Is that that's the truth? I mean, you do have value in real life. Yeah. In the, not yeah. in that in that circle, right? I mean, you're a commodity. Well, because everyone everyone wants to get to her. Like at one point, I'm fucking her on the floor, and then there's just I look up and there's just dicks here, like yeah, next waiting. to her face, it's like floating. just trying to floating. Hanging, Float, floating dicks. Just trying to like get a get a hole, get an angle. Like yeah. I don't uh, nah. see if she grabs. They're they're being polite, yeah. I guess, to <laughs> some degree. Just floats it's here. No no pressure. No, just it's, just a dick floating. I mean, if it's, it's there, if you need. It's like fly <laughs> fishing. Need. They're willing to wait. There's also some crudite. You yeah. want a little broccoli and some. Ranch. It was like a waiter walking around with hors d'oeuvres. Like yeah, yeah. Dicks. Uh, here. If you feel like it, uh, go take go a ahead. nibble. Take a nibble. Well, I from my experience of going to those, not you've been to I, those, right? I, yeah, I've been to parties been years and ago. things like that. I didn't do, I never did a uh, swapping with that because I don't, I'm not into watching my girl like or whatever, which you learned that I you're like not into soft, it either. Which yeah. is nothing I like wrong. a soft swap. A soft swap? What's what a is soft, soft swap? Making out? Swap is like when a chick, well, she can fuck other chicks, but she yeah, that, that doesn't count as a swap. Like, cause yeah. I, I love that. I enjoy watching that. Soft swap, soft swap. That's now, really that's, cool. I think that's a whole different ballpark. Like I like if if my girl had a girlfriend, I would be I would be, good yeah. with that. be filming it. I would go up yeah. to everything. Right. That's all, I mean that's all right, man. That's what, what it, whatever your constitution that relationship yeah, is. Yeah, but you could also have like I've had a I had a chick who I used to like we used to rock threesomes and stuff. But her but the chick that she brought I used to beat, but she really wanted a relationship with used my to beat, chick. You said. I used to I used to hit a, hit the, the ass. so she just she wanted a relationship separate from to, the two. I just want to make was it. like trying to get her to leave me, the girl. Oh yeah, no. I'm just making it clear that you don't mean beat. Like nah, I don't know. Nah. I used to beat her. <laughs> nah, for, beat, uh, like listen, beat, beat, you know, like sex, beat that like, pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you used yeah. to fuck her. Yeah, um, yeah. but she wa- she was always trying to she was always trying to get oh you we should be together this that. And, but she was trying to. She was trying to sneak in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was yeah. trying to. She, she was, was a temp. She, so she wasn't attracted to you at all. Yeah, yeah. She we, was. We, that's the problem. Yeah, why wasn't she into like a threes? Because she was more. She was more chick than she was. Dude. Isn't it better like that? Like right now we have one girl like that, and she's more into my girl than she's into me. But it's it's still kind of balanced. It but all, I think it's better like that so that yeah, my my girl doesn't that's get jealous. You lazy. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. Lazy. Probably. But how much effort should you really be putting into like women? You know how much mental energy? No, I'm not mean. I don't mean mentally. He means sexually I'm lazy. Saying sexually, is, oh. just breaking balls. No, no, no. But she, she, like we. He means that at some point when they start eating each other out, you get up and you go get a like, sandwich and a Gatorade. Get a sandwich, be oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm you saying the pressure looking at on TikTok the pressure, videos or whatever. The pressure is on. Like, so if you want a threesome, like I've had threesomes where both the chicks was like, like okay, so like if you did a a sneak old threesome. Like, just your fans was like, yo, la, 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 two joints that you don't even know. They're like, so what's up? And then you, you rocked out with two of them. Yeah. Now you you, now you are the conductor. The, the part, yeah, you gotta, I learned that. You got to keep the party. The party, you got to keep the plate. You're the director. The plate's spinning. I sat through. <laughs> I sat through two episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians with uh, these two girls, just waiting for them to do it. And then they wouldn't. They're just sitting here watching the show. <laughs> And even though like they were into each other, I had to do the first kiss for them. I'd be like, "All right, how about you guys kiss now?" <laughs> they don't know how to initiate. They they just know to sit there and watch to. Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Yeah. And they're also yeah. younger girls, right? They're yeah, the they're like early twenties. Yeah. Well, what were I think, your? I think girls who are a little bit older are a little more aggressive older, and less older if they've in they're into threesomes and stuff. Yeah, like, but that's what I'm saying. But they... Age is not. You have a young bitch to do threesomes all the time. It's gonna be better than a, than an old a forty year old chick. Who's never done yeah. this? So she's gonna sit and watch. Um, yeah, but even a, a quarterback in their a quarter, <laughs> quarterback in their thirties has more reps, so they don't fuck around a little bit. They know a little yeah, more. Yeah, but no? it, it depends. On, that's, that's from my experience. That's, that's my feeling. On it. That's a different. It, it's a different game. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. This ain't rugby. This football. Put your yeah. pads on. So I'm just saying it's this. But the point is, it's it's you gotta. You gotta be into it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just am not into watching another dude fuck my. I yeah, just not never... into it at all. And but she likes that. She likes watching me with other women. That's great. S- sounds like a so. It's, yeah. Why shouldn't it? But it should be equal, right? I should be able to <laughs> no, enjoy. It doesn't. It she, doesn't have she, to. Be. What if she liked anal? You supposed to like? She supposed to put a strap on and then. So some things just you just yeah. if you're not okay with. How it, many you're not okay things? With. You don't like it. You don't. I mean, why would you look? I'm not judging. 
if you want to strap one, I don't know, you seem a little apprehensive about that. But I'm just saying. If you if do, you, that's cool. If you do, right. that's cool. I'm just yeah. saying, if you don't. Then you don't. Why how, should you? Work? How many things in reverse does your chick not like doing in life, just in general, where they go, I don't like that. I don't, just not only mean sexually, just in life choices. Like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't enjoy doing that. You respect each other's decisions, you know, one way or the other. Yeah. And then, you, then at some point you reach, it, how much does this matter to you, no matter what it is? If it's every Sunday I got to go pumpkin picking or whatever, at some point I'd be like, I don't want to, I'm not pumpkin. the guy for I'm you. Not, then. I'm uh-huh. not going apple picking. Yeah, I'm not the guy for you. And that's no different sexually or in real or life. Or if you go, I, let, I, it's really important to me, I want to go pumpkin picking. I'll, I'll be like, all right, well, all right, I'm not into it, but we could go. And I'll have a good time. But you know it was a favor. Yeah. Yeah. We've established I didn't want to go, and I went anyway. I'm not a club guy, so I don't like going to the club. So if, if, if my girlfriend were somebody who loves going to clubs every Friday and Saturday night and getting blackout drunk, we wouldn't work. I would be like, that is not the lifestyle I'm into. So we're not. We are compatible because we both kind of. Don't dig I dated a girl who 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 liked to go like to party. Yeah, she would go party, go drink, and then call me up. Where you at? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, you could do I'm that like, too for I'm, some drunk dick at three a.m. Like, yeah, like I'm like I'm home. Well, you know, you taking a I'm nap? I'm coming. Great, you're you well got rested. A bitch, you got a bitch there? No, it's, just, just come. Cause if you got a bitch, just hurry up. <laughs> I know who you're she talking drunk about. Drunk. Oh, really? <laughs> I know who you're talking about because you always tell me she gets like sloppy drunk. Not sloppy drunk, but like very cartoonishly oh, yeah. angry. Cartoonishly well, you angry. Can't, the type of angry you can't be mad at her like because it's, it's so this, silly. This is adorable. Yeah, Look at you. you got all your oh, rules. Oh, you think it is? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> One time you told me that girl, that girl back in the day went, you got a lot of rules. <laughs> You and your rules. You and all you got the rules. Time, you, got your, rules. you got rules about it. You know, like, uh, you know. She's so, like, you can't even be angry at that. I'm like, you goofy. Shut up. <laughs> Take your pants off, stupid. <laughs> but you can make a choice in any aspect of it. But I will say that going to those parties and things, usually, it always seems a lot sexier in adult films, but it usually is not the sexiest it's people. It's not the finest people. Nah, it's, nah, it's, nah. It's people. It looks like a it's, coffee shop. It's, it's, yeah. And you don't want to imagine like going the, to your local like coffee the DMV. shop. Yeah, <laughs> naked DMV. Imagine going over to the coffee shop of the DMV and seeing those people working naked. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not so the most exciting like, situation. And then Sneeko shows up with his hot Sneeko chick. Sneeko walks in with the dimer. Yeah, and everybody's like, because I met Sneeko. <laughs> I got to meet Sneeko's chick on the street. Yeah, and she is a, a lovely sweetie. lady. She's a sweetie. She, she is a cutie. But that's so. why I felt like I owed it to her because she's been so agree with, agreeable with all the stuff I want to do. Like I want to have a girlfriend now, what did she with say her. About fucking the dude. Uh, she got it, so I left right away. Like, right when I saw it, I was like, I can't, nah, I'm out. Like, I was like, I'm gonna let her do it, and but she immediately she got up and like, she's like, uh, and she left. I'm not good. Yeah, she left. Yeah, which I appreciate. Was she, was she into it or she was? She was into it. Yeah, that's part, that, like the biggest reason. I didn't, I'm like, oh, I died. Nah, no, I don't want to see that. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was into it until Sneeko wasn't into it, and then she yeah. was like, all right. Now, she, do you think she was into it, into it, or do you think she was into it because she thought you were into it? Both, both. So she, he, was, he was she was legitimately into it. Yeah. yeah. Now, how did this come up? Because I'm trying to remember where we left off the last time with it. If she was into threesomes, or you're trying she to wasn't get at all. She she didn't want. I told her I was polyamorous. Like I need multiple women. Right. She was not yeah. into that. Like I'm monogamous. And now, like I've completely flipped her. She said if I ever dated somebody after you, I could never go back to a monogamous relationship. Oh, nice. So mm. we're learning. We're doing like old people should. This is what people do in their they old should, ass marriages they when they need to spice out. it up. Yeah, they should find out. what You should it find is. out. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I, it was good to see that to see how I'd react. Um, but yeah, bad. Don't you know, it. now you know, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Oh, for emotionally. So I had a happen. bad dream about it. Like really? I was, <laughs> <laughs> <"This>! <laughs> that is nightmare, a dick nightmare. I saw a floating dick in my head. Yeah. A lot of man. Those reoccurring dick nightmares. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dante, Crazy. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because <laughs> I remember Patrice told me a story about when he, he did it. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. hearing about that. And then, uh, she, he lost it when she spit on the dude's dick. Oh, uh, she went too aggressive. <laughs> and then he was like, all right, I'm, bitch, all right. Let's they stopped see. after that? Yeah, he was, all right, let's, this is, you are uh, too much of a trooper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted more of a casual dick And fucking. he's like, he's like, well, you know, you need, you need spit to, 
No, she was I'm just from a here. practical standpoint. I was just trying to, you know, <laughs> give it a hundred percent. Like, what do you want me in here? I mean, you want me half to have, half ass in it? I would have liked if she didn't enjoy it. If it was really bad and she wasn't, at, oh, then oh, okay. All right, yeah, but that's a different fetish altogether. <laughs> but I, well, I could have tolerated it. But yeah. I, I just, it would have been a little more tolerable if it was not so enthusiastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, th- again, that's all okay, man. How it makes you feel is how it makes you feel, and how, whatever. But you don't she think I owe that to, to her for her to be able to do that if, if I want to do it too. Uh, that all depends on whether that's what she wants to do. She wants to keep going to these parties. To to go fuck yeah, dudes. Because, yeah, and girls. Like, there, there are a lot of girls on her, too. But, like, she just wants to go there and, like, Well, the girls happens, portion happens. we've established is a go here. It seems both yeah. parties are into fucking the girls. Yeah. It's it's when a guy enters the picture that you're you're not as Yeah, exactly I got to accept that. Like, she she but... wants other men, too. And, like, that's the healthiest way to do it. How do you feel about do that, Don? Do, does he have to do it? Does I'm he have to it. accept it? I, you you don't have to accept anything you don't want. Yeah, but accept. now you're not tolerant. You're not giving her the full pleasure that she wants. You're not pleasing her to, um, to her fullest. If you say like, okay, I can't please you this way, you have to suppress that. Then if if that happened to me, if like if a girl told me like you can't do threesomes, I'm not with. I'd be like, okay, I'll look for somebody else. Sure. Right. Right. Sure. Or or you go, you go, or you make the compromise and you go. I I guess I got to do this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you you could do either. You don't have to do any, you know. Who did you go to the uh, to the party with? Do you uh, want alone? Uh, no, nah, I went with a chick. Went you... with, I went with two chicks. Okay. And uh, well, one was my main chick, and one was the other, the other, you know, the side chick, right? The, and uh, it was like I just didn't like. First of all, I find whenever you do that. The dude is always, uh, dudes treat women like uh, like pin cushions. You know what I mean? Like, it's always an ego thing. Like, they, like I'm a fucking railist bitch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not, it's more ego than it is anything else, which I, I don't find that women are the same way. Like, women are, are not in, in a situation where they're just trying to rail the bitch to death, you know? Nah. Um, so, uh, it, there's a different energy. Anytime I've had, like, a, like me and boys, like me and my boys or something was, was fucking the same chick or something. It's always, it was never about the chick. It was always about the, it was always about. Who could fuck her harder? Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 why, I, another reason I didn't want to do it. Yeah, so it's that, and I think men see that differently. Um, but, uh, I, I, you know, I don't, I mean, you don't have to do anything. So you, you never did a full swap. You always did soft swap, or you did uh, yeah, do swap? Yeah, I did full swap, but not with a chick that I was, uh, you know, like we were casual. Hmm. Okay. And we did a full swap, but I, I, I've just never been a dude who wanted to see somebody else plow my, you know. Did you see your main bitch get fucked at that party? Uh, it wouldn't have been his main bitch. It wouldn't. I wouldn't have. No. You've she never didn't. seen your your main bitch get get fucked. I've with had her. chicks that I was fucking with that did, but never a chick who I was like. Emotionally, why? Just because you don't think you could? I just don't like it. I just. It's How do you know? Something. Well, yeah, yeah I, you, know. you know. You know, you know going know. in. I knew before, and I still. Girl. Yeah. yeah, like I feel like I, I, I don't want anyone, any dude banging. I'm not my knocking girl. it if a dude does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If but she fun. wants me to be okay with it. I don't. I, mean, I don't even. I think she's just like that's dumb girl mentality. She doesn't know that if I was into that, she'd lose all attraction for me. If I was like into her watching, yeah. like, well, how would you be attracted to me after that? She wouldn't. And that might be true for, I mean, there's some chicks, but... I mean, there's somebody, some women who are really, really kind of liberal about it, and some dudes that are really, you know, you know, they're like sex to sex and whatever, whatever, and the relationship is, I just, you know, I just, I'm not that way. And I'm not saying that you can't be that way, I'm just not that way. And well, why do you think you're not that way? Because I couldn't even understand all these guys bring their wives there, they were getting railed by like four or five guys, I'm like, how the fuck are you, and they're just watching, like, eh, standing there... Because I think um, they either don't think that the intimacy is important, you know, it's just sex, or they don't like their chick, <laughs> you know? I wonder. I wonder. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why anyone... We'd need to get, like, a psychologist or something to explain I mean, why anyone's in any need, fetish. You don't need to have to... You don't yeah. need to have a, a psychologist. It's either you're into it or you're not. Why are you into it? So, like, if I think I'm, there's got to be something wrong with you if you're into that. Or there's just kind of something off. Yeah, but then you could make that argument about yeah, any about other anything. sex yeah. thing. Like, I think it's you, you could argue, like, it's wrong if you want to choke women or, you know, do BDSM. I was watching, I was so I mean, Harry, I was watching uh, Perv House. Perv House. Yeah, Dante showed me Perv House. This fucking thing. 
it's really, we've both seen our fair share of porn. It is uncomfortable to watch, and then it it's, is, it's 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 good entertainment, but it's, it's good, crazy. But it's it's like they're it's like a family of Russians. Just, Russians or Ukrainian? Dirty, it may not even whatever. be Russians. They just the house is dirty. The Are they related? Roof, not, not in real in, life. I mean, in the, in the, in the story. Play, in the storyline. Okay. In the, the narrative. In the narrative, <laughs> and, right, right, right. and then they just come and it's just fucking each other and peeing on each other's feet and just, it's just it's, peeing in I saw, soup I saw, and then I saw, eating I'll the I'll soup. I'll tell you on later. You, it's like, man. It's a, but to the same token that I like that, I don't. Like I don't think I would want to be in that. Like it's fil- It's mm. like too filthy to be in. Yeah, like they're fucking pissing in the soup. But you like watching it? Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you you're not watching it to beat off, are you? To be or entertained. You, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, yeah, I mean, not, I guess not when you showed it to me. But uh, why would not you? At the time when you were here. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah. you asked me not to. That's true. So. I did say, Dante, <laughs> could you stop? You go. All right, I guess somebody yeah. wants to be a party pooper. Ugh, this guy is this fucking, fucking wet blanket. <laughs> but, All right, but I'll just, put I mean, away I think my there's dick. things that you're attracted to sexually that you don't necessarily want to do. I mean, a good friend of mine, a female comic, she loves watching. She's she's straight lesbian, and she loves watching regular porn with a dude because she kind of identifies with the dude. Mm-hmm. But you know. That's you know, still don't mean she want a guy to fuck a girl. You know what I mean? It just, I think it's a, it's, a, I think it's just what you know. Like, why do you like chocolate ice cream? It's, I just do. You know what I mean? It's just there's no something re- in your head for whatever nothing, reason. No reason. So she doesn't. She she thinks that I should change my mentality. It's a mental block, and it's a sex party. Everything should go. It's just pleasure, and I should let that go. Everybody has everybody in there has rules about how what they're comfortable and what they're not comfortable. I would I would say this: the more you go to these parties, the more the let the, the it's a slippery slope. You open your, your you open yourself to stuff more, and it becomes more common because the problem is that it's just not common. So it's not common, so you feel kind of fucked up about. It. You know what I mean? Like it's. Then how do how do I make the open relationship fair? If I'm able to do my thing and like she. Well, she likes girls, right? Yeah, but not as much as guys. Like, you know, it's only she's so mostly she, bisexual for me. I think. Okay, so she's not really into girls. She is, like, she yeah, she is, but you know, she, she wouldn't ever date a woman. Yeah, but is she in the guys? Like, yeah. she's in the guys. Yeah. So, but she's in the guys and she's into you. Is she in the guys just random cocks or is she no. into you? When when you say when you say she's in the guys, I'm saying is she into you or is she into guys? Like does she does is she the type of chick that's running that was always checking for some other dude no. trying to fuck some other dude no. so so then what is the what's the thing I mean to satisfy that doesn't everybody have that innate feeling to to have sex with people like how do you scratch that itch I think you you it depends on what the itch is do you know what I mean so like, she should only like if we were to stay together forever I should expect to be the only person she ever no she you should you should do what you're comfortable with doing. But what's what's fair? That doesn't matter. Nothing is fair. Okay. And when is anything fair? Let me ask you something. You make a good living, yes? Yeah. How much does she pay for shit when y'all go out? Oh, like she she does a pat sometimes. But nothing. It's so, just, sometimes, sometimes. But that's not fair, right? Yeah. Nor From do you, nor yeah. do you expect it to be fair, do you? you this is my chick. I got you. You don't. I mean, you don't, you're not, you're not keeping the books on her, right? Kind of. I, I keep a mental check. Like, all right, I've been paying a lot. Like, it's time yeah, for her Yeah, but it's a lot. It's not like, oh, I spent a dollar thirty. Yeah, it it's not 50 50 at all. And yeah. then it's nowhere near. It's not, probably not 70 20. I, she, 70. she, she thinks it is. She's like, oh, I pay sometimes. But like, you paid for a pack of gum and I paid for the, the right. drinks and the oysters. Right, right. Come on, man. So it's not, it's not fair at all. When I'm, so nothing's fair. So she's so always reaching. When you guys are at Target, she reaches. But when you're at a, you know, sushi place. Uh-huh. Not only that, yeah. but if it's some, like, I always tell this but story. Which is man, fine. I had this chick that was coming. She used to come. A lot, a lot of chicks are, who used to come visit me here because I was running the street. The dudes, the street dudes knew me. So if they knew the chick was with me, she had carte blanche coming through the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So they would, you know, she, she didn't even know that motherfuckers were, but there was these, some dudes up the block who was like, yo, yo, come here, let me talk to you, whatever. And, and then they threw snowballs at her. My mom was still alive. And um, she came in crying, and she was like, 
these guys, they do snowballs at me. They wouldn't talk to them. And I, so I started lacing my books. And this is how my mom, this is how gangster my mom was like. My mom was like, told her, oh, he's going. This well, is after you somebody, went. After no, you went, no, she As went. I was lacing yeah. my boots, she was. The, the girl was. I don't want nothing to happen to him. And he, my mom was like, "Oh no, this is happening. You, he's going." She goes, "I don't want anything. He'll be fine. He'll be fine." She goes, "But if you don't want him to go, don't come in here crying. Don't come in here sniffling and crying. Because if somebody coming, you come in here sniffling and crying, someone's getting their ass beat. So." Make just up your know cheek. that this is not a guy and, you could and my mom just wasn't cry even to. Worried. My mom was like, yeah. "Oh, this is this is." She something. was so used to it at that <laughs> point. Yeah, my mom was like a smooth stone. She didn't even stop whittling <laughs> no, or she, uh, knitting her sweater. She just in a rocking chair. This is going down. So my my point is this: I don't expect her to do that for me. There's right. things that I do all the time that I that somebody that your partner doesn't do for you. Nothing is nothing is is equal. Equal means the same. Right, but don't you think that if I start suppressing that, like if she expresses a desire to do that, and I'm like, nah, you can't do that, she gonna cheat. Well, people do what they want to do. Yeah, but here's the thing: you open this Pandora box, and now the question is, are you gonna be how if she's running around doing going to sex parties and fucking dudes? Are you gonna be you gonna see her the same way that you always see her? Hell no. Nah. Right. Then eventually, yeah. it's gonna fall apart. Right. Yeah. So she's got to make a decision: is this is this something you want to pursue? Then you can't. You just can't do it with me. You didn't. You didn't like the sex parties because they looked like DMV people. I, I, I. It doesn't matter to me. I don't like the. I don't like the whole. I, I don't like the public thing. I'm not into the public right. thing. Also, not, you don't like hanging out. I know for me, I don't like hanging out and chatting with people. The worst either. conversations I've ever yeah, had. Yeah, that that yeah. part of it also I didn't like at those things where oh, you're just yeah. like chatting Especially and making small talk. Especially when the pretext and, is that I got the dime in here right. and all you motherfuckers just is just trying to fuck. Girl, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get away from It's like me. when you bring yeah. champagne and everybody brings in Meisterbrau or whatever yeah, the fuck. It's like P- PBR yeah. and you got the champagne and then they're like, hey, hi. I brought something to too. Oh, you can take it some of that. I'll take some of that. Yeah, I brought something too. But you know, it's listen. It's what you're comfortable with as a human being, and she, if she's uncomfortable with something, she will make sure that you know that she's not into something. Now you feel like you molded her into because I know last time you're talking about it, maybe you feel like you molded her into. Yeah, I feel like it's my fault. Something. Like it, 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 it is your fault, yeah. but it's but, always your fault. But you can always you can always change your mind about what you, you like can and what change you don't like. What you like? Because there's no way in the world that she's gonna keep getting plowed by strange dudes, and you're still gonna be like, yo, this is my girl. Yeah, I had a girl who if was you're doing, not I had that, a girl yeah. who wanted to do one. She had did a couple of porns, and she didn't want. To, she was like, "Oh, I thought you would be so open minded." Yeah, I don't. I don't want to date a. a porn I don't want to date a porn star. I'm not saying I'm, I'm. You could do porn, but you can't be with me. And we not. This is not serious. You rock out and do whatever you do. I see you when I see you. We rock out and whatever, and we keep it like that. But. We're not we're not being close. I'm not gonna be close. Like I'm not gonna kiss you to go to work and then you go suck dick and then come home. How was your day? Oh, it was a rough day. My back hurts. You know, like I don't want yeah. you know. But I don't. I'm I don't not, wanna be icing your pussy lips. <laughs> right. I don't. I, I wanna don't, help. Yeah, I don't wanna. Um, I, this just not something I wanna do. So, you don't want leftovers. It's not. I just don't wanna do it. I'm just not interested, dude. I won't. I don't even wanna fuck a chick if I don't like her. Like. Even if she's bad, if I don't like being around her, if I'm not comfortable with her being around her and talking to her and stuff, I don't really want to. Yeah. I only want to do that. So, but I mean, I'm I'm older, so I mean, I get that you're young and it's like, you know, I I was put I'll fuck that and fuck this and fuck. I get that, but um, what you find is the best sex is is sex with is intimacy. Yeah. And if she's on this shit right now, where this is where. You could just go out. I mean, you've already talked about how you didn't like it, right? Yeah. T- and what did she say? Um, she thinks it's a mental block that I need to, because she, because she's so into it. She likes seeing mm-hmm. me do that, and so she's like, she, she likes like, you fucking other people. Yeah. But why does that have to? What does that have to do with her fucking other people? She says if she's able to do it and get past it, because she wasn't really comfortable with that at first, then I should be able to do it. You're, too, you're different people. Yeah. yeah. Just because you. 
just because she I just don't think it's natural it doesn't make sense as a man to be into that like biologically that doesn't make any sense yeah I mean it, none of it in theory makes sense yeah. in theory the only thing that should make sense is man man sticks penis in woman's vagina but that's not how it all works I mean even when you get into and we don't have to get into all the transgender and different uh, sexes and stuff but it's whatever you're comfortable with mm. you know because in that theory like no, you, you, it's equally as unnatural that you like watching your chick fuck another chick you know, that doesn't josh with the quote-unquote biology. It's whatever you're comfortable with. And those people at that party are fucking super comfortable with that and good for them. But it doesn't mean that you or I have to be comfortable with it. You know, for me, I never got and into I'm that. And I'm going to be honest. And it's I, all right. I don't even know people who – I don't know people – like there's people that do it and then there's people that do it for a period of time and then they don't do it. It's like Jim David. Jim David is a gay dude. Oh, yeah. He was right. like, he's an old gay dude. He goes, me and my partner, we don't he, we don't even fuck no more. He, we're just two old dudes who live together and the love roommates. each other. Yeah, like, and we love each other and whatever. He goes, no angel wings and sequence hot shorts. We don't get on the float. We don't go to the parade. Uh-huh. Like, it's just, that's just not where we're at. So I think just as well as it can happen the other way where you, where you, where you explore these things and then you move off to something else. I I don't even really like threesomes anymore. Why? It's more work. It's, it's work. work. It's a lot of work. If you do it right. It's work and the pressure's on you is that you got to be quarterback. That's why I'm saying it's better if the yeah. third girl likes your girlfriend more. Then she could do a lot of then the. Then you could be lazy. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what, what Dante's saying. saying. <laughs> and he's not saying it is bad. I'm you, just you, saying that's why you like the girl. But then they try to steal your girlfriend from you. Then they try to steal your girl. You wish you got to work, you know, but again, it, you got to be confident in that you're with the right a, person who's not going to go away with somebody. I had a chick who used to love to snatch, bring other girls in, but then she would, she would treat the girls like trash. Shit, yeah. Like because just, she was self-conscious. Like a dirty dildo she treated them like just, she was smacking bitches and choking them and making them, you know, she was just. Well, the girl was into it, right? Huh? The, the trashy girl was into it, right? Yeah, at the time, but then she would be trashy. Like, we would go to breakfast, and she would be like, bitch, no syrup, no syrup for your Still wife or your waffles, bitch. And she was just... Yeah. She and continued, then, and then she she continued to, role playing past the bedroom, is what happened. It's like, you go, hey, no, bitch. No me, reason to choke this girl outside the waffle you, house. We're not driving you home, bitch. Walk. You know, it's like... But she was like that, and she also wanted to discard the bitch afterwards. Mm-hmm. Like get away because she was very self conscious yeah. about losing about sharing, so she liked the sexual part of it, or she was doing it to please you. So it, it, it you know what I'm saying? I think you just have to define what you like, and if you define what you like, and she defines what you, she likes, and then you go, I don't like it. I tried it. I don't like it. I mean, it's not like she can't say you tried it. Mm-hmm. You could just I don't like it. You know, I don't want I don't want to watch some other dude fucking railing you. What the my fuck? girl told me that when we were doing the long distance thing. <laughs> This is got some real you. Fuck, man. I've been having PTSD like all day long, like flashback. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look, man, you don't have to ever do it again. You tried it. It's something you tried. You don't no, have I just, to do I it again. I think it's it's funny. It's a funny experience because yeah. I definitely it's one of the most myself. It's one of the most unique life experiences in the world, yeah. bro. Yeah. I like mean, but again, now life. you have a story that nobody else has. But you could also go, I don't, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Why can't you? Why can't you do that? You feel about uh, watching your your girl get fucked the way I feel about roller coasters. I'm like, ah, I did that. It's not for me. No, thank you. But how is your relationship outside of the sexual part? Like from day to day. I was gonna ask you that. How, how much outside how much... of watching her get railed that clearly <laughs> bothers you? How much how much bullshit do you entertain from a female before you decide to cut it off? Mm. Like how much? How much do you have question. to do with her problems? Like when is it worth? Like okay, it's too much stress. It's not worth it. When does it shift? When I decided it's it's too much stress. I mean, I guess this the the circumstances is uh, the the circumstances is based on how much I like the person, how I don't like what I tolerate. So it just what, depends on the. Yeah, you know. I I I reserve the right to say no. It no means no. Think of, consent. It means it means consent's it, important. Consent is important for me too. And if I don't want to do something, I'm not doing it. If I don't like how you're treating me, I'm not doing it. If I don't like, if I liked it, and I'd say I don't like it no more, just like it's the same thing. I get to say no. Or how much do you train a bitch? How much do you get her to learn? And like, you know what's funny about that is I've work. changed. I've changed that in terms of I just give the parameters, and if somebody doesn't act within the parameters, I just get rid of them. Yeah, 
and then they go. If well, they, I, I understand what he's saying in in the sense of like, how much are you? How much do you tolerate, and do you try to make? accustomed to your relationship and how much do you go this person when when is when is the line where you just cut him yeah. off and go well i would say you don't do what i, I want to do I, I would say the interesting thing I, I would say about all of this is that uh um i think you make a decision about where your tolerance is on a on a basis of who you are and what you experience and what you're willing to put up and what your happiness put your happiness first if you don't they won't so you can you can put up with something that you don't like, and then you you can be unhappy. But why would you do that? I mean, I, I think what's interesting is, I think why are we tolerating anything? I, I it, we when we're comfortable tolerating with something, and we get it. We, you know, we were just talking about somebody getting drunk and going, "Yeah, who you yeah. got a bitch in there?" You yeah. know, like and she and it's cute and it's fine. I don't really mind, but if it becomes a situation where somebody is overstepping their boundaries, then I, I go, "Yeah, I don't like that. Don't do that." And if you continue to do it, then, then I'm done. Yeah. I've, I I talked about this before. I was this chick wasn't she didn't want to give no head. And I was like, yo, you don't give head. It was, well, I'm not really that good at it. And then I go, well, I'm here to practice. So, you know, what? And, Start. And I was like, well, um, did, this is not a non-negotiable. This is not non-negotiable. Like, I, I, I am not going to move on without getting my dick sucked. So if this is not what you want to do, yeah. then then I find, so she, it was good for a while. And then it went back to the same thing again. And I was like, look, I just think it's best we go our separate way. She was like, why? And I was like, well, I just don't feel like you dig me. Like I need you to dig me. And she was like, no, I think the communication is better with spending time. And I was like, well, when, then why is my dick not in your mouth? <laughs> And like, then it was done after that. Like, we had this conversation. Like, I'm not... It's okay that you don't want to do it, but if you don't want to do it... But and that's I'm, important to me in our I'm in not, our sex life. I said that to a girl, yeah. and then she called me a clown. And she said she was never going to talk to me again. And what okay. happened? She what called happened? me the next yeah. day. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah, Sneeko. Exactly. You, just, you got Sneekoed, bitch. <laughs> I think I learned that from this. I think I heard you say that. And I just told her, like, yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't suck dick, and I'm not going to... You're a clown. Oh, so I should right, go the rest of okay. my life and not get my dick sucked because you think I'm a clown. I'm a, I'm a clown that's uh. going to get his dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a get, getting his dick this sucked is, clown. I'm Dicko the Clown. <laughs> I'm all about getting this. You could juggle these balls. Yeah. Be careful. You get squirted in the face like a flower. <laughs> I'm hey, that's Dicko not water. the Clown. <laughs> that's not water. <laughs> but, you know, I, I just think... Watch. You, 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 we make a decision. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, you value it you, and you make a decision. For me, I, if, it, if it really becomes more, it's the ratio. You know, every, people have their good times and their bad times and their good moods. And when it becomes almost a 50-50 split of good versus bad, that's too much for me. Because it's never 50-50 because I'm always doing it, more than 50 anyway. So right. It's like if but I if, it, if you're ever to that point where 50% of the time, I mean, that's a high rate of tolerance. And I try to give the benefit of the doubt to the person. Are they going through something in that moment? Or there, is this a situation? Yeah, is, it a, is, is this, this temporary? A one -off or is this a so? But if it's consistent and every day, and but you if go, you say to your girl, "I don't like you fucking other dudes," and she goes, "Well, I want to fuck other dudes," you got it. I don't think that'd be a deal breaker. I think it's just like I open that Pandora's box and now that's I all right. Close but it. you don't have to. But women change their yeah, mind but here's, all here's the time. The problem. And what if you had that? That was going on. And it just eventually it's gonna chip at way at, away at how you feel about her. I would tell her that because yeah. I, yeah, I would lose attraction to her. But right. that's not even like the the. I'm talking about like I how much nagging do you tolerate? That's aside from the, the not sex sexually party. speaking, no, just in an yeah. everyday relationship. The emotional yeah. stress. When does the fear of loneliness step in at some point? Because I think that's why most guys settle down and get married. It's like eventually, like, all right, I'm just going to tolerate it. I don't feel like dating anymore. You I don't want to die alone. You they shouldn't get worry about loneliness because there's nothing lonelier than being with the wrong person. Because I've been lonely being in the same room with a person and you don't talk. That's mm. lonelier than being by well, yourself. somebody that doesn't have respect for you. Yeah. That's, that's lonelier than being by yeah, yourself. You're, you're by yourself. You're and, there, but you're by yourself. And, and you're if, settling for this image of what you perceive as not being by yourself, but you're really by yourself. You know, it's, it's I, I think, um, you know, I, I think it's it's from person to person. I mean, some dudes, I know dudes who love, you know, their mama was a bitch and they love dating cunts, you mm -hmm. know, women that give them a hard time and shit on them and tell them they ain't shit and they, and they love it. 
that's but that's what they're into. Um, the problem is, I think that they don't they try to ignore it as if that's not really what they're into. But if you're tolerating it, that's what you like. Yeah, or, or at least, or at least, or, I mean, it could be that you don't feel like you have options. And here's the crazy thing about this is, I think that what happens is the the change is like if your girl is hot. She she have whatever she wants. She have dudes. Nobody cares whether she's smart. She's just bad. If she's bad, some dude will who who some dude will put her in the front row because she's a bad bitch. But the difference is, you get older, and then motherfuckers don't want. I used to have this thing. I was like twenty year old pussy is priceless. It's worth like dinner and drinks, and then that's the thirty year old pussy is worth an appetizer. Right, forty-year-old pussy is uh, drinks, but bottom shelf drinks only. Well, drinks, and fifty-year-old pussy is worth two skittles, mm. and not the red ones, the green ones. Uh, There's nobody. Wa- but as you, as you get, as you disgusting. get, disgusting. And, and this is what's fucking what's Wait, happening. Skittles or fifty-year-old pussy? What are you? Which Man, it's a perfect metaphor. Both. Oh, both. Jesus. So, I don't know. But it's. it's I a, like both. I don't know what to tell you. Happy <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Uh, I've been, I've had my share of both, <laughs> but I'm saying the yeah. point. The point is a 50 year old woman. It, but you, I've seen this too, where where you get a 50 year old woman who is unaware that she's a 50 year, and she's like, "Let me tell you, like, bitch, you 50, like, yeah. like you're not on the open market. You're not worth that much. Like, stop. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you. But the free- true, the true game is learning the value that none of it's worth it. None so, of it. Is. None of it. Like, all of it is a sacrifice. There's always, a, I forget what story it was, but there was some this bunch of golfers or something sitting in a country club, and this dime piece walks down the stairs or whatever, and they're like, "God damn, she looks great." And one of the older guys goes, "Yeah, yeah there's somebody- already somebody out there who's tired of her." <laughs> <laughs> already, t- because that only lasts for so long. Because how much fucking are you doing? Even if you're fucking a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a lazy fuck. I guess an hour a week total if I added it all up. I'm not a long term. I'm not doing any of that tantric sex that Sting does. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if you're a fucking lunatic, you're doing seven hours a week. What about the rest of the time? You know, if you're not fucking her, what is she bringing to your life? I'm probably not, not... going to chime in on this. You got to keep talking about what? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> About seven hours like that's I mean, that's, light, I, I'm not lying. I'm a lazy fuck yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I I, as far I go quantity. I mean quality, not quantity. I go quantity. I make it a quality. Need Dante, both. I make it a great thirty seconds, all right? I was thinking seven hours a week, that sounds pretty realistic, right? Yeah. It like, could be. Yeah. And I've done it, but I, I uh, yeah. yeah, you know. I'm saying I'm just saying it, it what you as you grow older, which is interesting because you know, I, I watch, I'm watching, I'm watching, I feel so touched. I feel watching Sneeko grow up. He is growing up. <laughs> He's just, you know, it's just uh, less than a year ago. He's a young kid, and now he's a grizzled veteran who's, who's <laughs> watched someone get railed. Get railed. <laughs> He's a, yeah, he's uh, he's up, you, you know, that's growing up. No, you don't have to do nothing you don't want to do, yeah. because here's the thing. They're not going to do what they don't want to do. Trust me. If they don't think you're worth it, they're not going to do it. So you better, you better... You better find your happiness, and I think there's a, there's a reasonableness to it. But it's also a situation where you, if you don't, if it's unhappy, if it's something that makes you unhappy, then don't do it. And I got just here's another little side piece to that. Uh, if she didn't like it, if she really didn't like it, she would sabotage it. If she didn't like, yeah. I know you introduced her to it, but if you tried to introduce her to it and she, she didn't like it, it up. she would find yeah. a way to fuck it up because she doesn't like it. So it meaning like. She would find a way to ruin the threesomes if if she didn't like it. She yeah. would insult the chick. She would be passive aggressive. She would be overly picky with the chick. She would do everything to make it a fucking pain in the ass. She would smack if the she, girl in the face. I yeah, like that. pull pull on her weave. You had that happen. You no know, tricks. Oh, this this chick when she would do threesomes, she was brutal. She would the bitch would blow me and she would make the bitch gag like push push her head down. Uh, she was just brutal, like mean. Like and I didn't mind it during, but yeah, then, I bet you liked it. But but then afterwards, it was like, you know, like we're going for breakfast, and she's like, "Bitch, shut the fuck up!" I'm like, "Damn, babe, why you? Oh, you like that bitch?" <laughs> In the morning, you're just like, I, I, "I, not that I like her, but I treat her just like I treat the mailman. Be I nice, a, Doug. I, I was be in, nice to somebody, Doug. I was in this house. Yeah, right? my mom was still around." Uh, I had just I did this threesome with this chick, and mm. then 
we was like, and we had we had another threesome with another friend of hers, right? So we was like, let's call her. It was it was uh, the day before Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday, right? And we, and I have a queen size bed, you know what I mean? Because the rooms are small, right? So it was like all of us, it was three, me and three girls in the queen size bed. Three girls in the queen size bed? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, uh. And, uh, we That's the part I couldn't tolerate. And they were all, mo- and they were all mothers, because I'm a motherfucker. So I was like, let's go out for breakfast for Mother's Day. Right? Wow. <laughs> so wow, yo. So we we come in right, and uh, so you come into the IHOP. <laughs> we we went, your fur we coat went to, and we holding your cane. Cane. We went to we went to Juniors actually. We went to Juniors. Hey hey. <laughs> bam, bam. Here's the funny bam, thing. Bam, bam, As we're bam, leaving bam. the house, my sister had picked up my mom, <laughs> and I'm walking out with three chicks going to. Uh, Happy like, Mother's Day, and you kiss your mama the cheek. I didn't kiss her because I just it was pussy all over <laughs> my face. Nah, I was disgusting. like, I was like, Happy Mother's Day. You, hi- mom. you dabbed nah. your mom. I, I you like you a, gave her a fist bump. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> you but gave her one of these, like, hey, I gave her a kiss, a, a, a air salute, because it was a a fist bump. Just all kind Jeez. of. There's still a little fumes on that blow kiss, though. It was a, <laughs> well, she was some kerosene on that. <laughs> there was debaucherous, and then we went to. Went to Junior's and everybody looked at like, what the fuck is coming around? But, you know, whatever. Hey, listen, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's you, Day. I mean, you made those girls Mother's Day. I did. What, what else are they going to do? They Get sh- open a picture frame, a macaroni picture frame? Hey, listen, they shit-ass baby fathers didn't take them out for That's breakfast. That's true. I took them. That's dinner and a show. That's it. So, I mean, whatever. You, mean you never had to deal with the baby daddy? I've had dudes... Call me up about you know yo you know you know Michelle actually I don't you her number was in your phone blah, 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 blah. I'm like I'm sure I, it was I just, bro uh, maybe but you probably should check her out though you should probably ask her what's going on man they were like I'm... you know what the fuck it is I was like I'm outside <laughs> what are we doing <laughs> Happy Father's I'm Day I'm not hard to find. But, I've been on. lucky. I haven't I'm had like, to deal with the the baby's daddy. I would always but, go like, dog, you you calling me about it? I I couldn't have fucked if she didn't let me. Right. Like I didn't rape her, dog. I, she she voluntarily. She drove out. over here. Right. We fucked her in my house. It, <laughs> he was like, oh, you watch, you see, I'm gonna say, come on, dog, don't do this to yourself. You're playing yourself, dog. You know the game. You know you what did is. what you had to do. <laughs> I'm trying to help his girl yeah. out. She's bored and upset. Yeah, she's doing her a favor. And then I'm and then and now I'm a what bad I'm guy. Do? Let her sit home and watch reruns on a Mother's Day. <laughs> she, she, Not on my watch. It's a wonderful life. Yeah, she's sitting home watching. What's she gonna do? I'm trying to. Do I help her out. She got waffles that day. Anyway, uh, think are we gonna do and something orgasm. behind the Patreon? Well, we got five minutes. We got when five minutes. I give you a, yeah, when I give you a five, that means oh, five minutes. Five. All right, all right. Just... <laughs> oh, so I want to get into this real quick. So, so. My, my, so I haven't talked to the fans about this, so y'all are gonna really. But so I, I sent my my wife and my son to England, and then my my wife told me she don't want to come back. Oh boy, she don't want to come back to England, so she's got my oh son boy. in England under false pretense. Um, and I realized that uh, I realized that you you there's so many things that you have to take into consideration when you when you when you. Uh, when you 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 have a child with somebody because it's it's a it's a it's a you you want to have some kind of control over how you raise your kid and stuff and, yeah. and so on and so forth and when you have people and they have certain ideas about their own personal neurosis and what's their what what's their what's important to them then then they have this so her you know it was uh, I feel like I did as much as I could. I would, you would agree with that. I, I uh, even more than anything. More I mean, than you, I you could gave, possibly do. I would say, from my perspective, you gave her an amazing life for both her and your son. I also believe and, that there's. This, I believe that eventually it'll come around that that it uh, that she'll want she'll realize that it was a mistake and probably want to shoot back. But of course. But the problem with that is that yeah. once people show you who they are, you can't. That's who back. they are. Yeah. How can you trust them? <laughs> You you you, I mean, you don't you don't you're not giving. I would in my, I would sympathize more, and if I was in that situation, I would feel like all right. She came all the way over here from England. This is a new place. She doesn't have any friends here, and she's freaking out. She's a new mom. Probably got added a lot of weight. She's she's mentally she's not 
where she Perf- was. Yeah, like she's come from a different I, country. I would say that knowing Dante, he considered all those things. I mean, listen, we had those discussions. Yeah, yeah. He absolutely considered yeah. all those things, and that was fine for the initial couple months or whatever. Yeah, you know, I, I after understood the pregnancy that, but you also, and, you also, you have to take an active part in in making friends. You have to take an active part in creating a social social circle where you're at to 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 do that. And if you didn't do that, there's nothing I can do about that. It I was mean, her decision to come here and and move here. Yeah. She wanted. She volunteered. She was like really willing. Everything. Well, he didn't force I wanted, her. It was. She was like, yeah. I want to get the fuck out of this place. I can't wait to be with you. Yeah. I mean, so you can. Simply, I mean, what your your instincts are right for, and you should sympathize with people and give I them and ask. But the, and you it's do. really the sympathy is not the thing. The sympathy is, is this a is this a one off kind of thing, or is this the constitution of the person that you're dealing with? So what I mean is, is this who, is this who the person is? That's a pretty big character divining action. Yeah, yeah, right. That's right. the point. And, yeah, yeah. And yeah. especially if you have other things that support that as well, you know, mm-hmm. you have these these definitive kind of decisions, and so you can expect that when the, when shit gets hot, that you go. And you bailing. This yeah. is you've shown me that this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna bail, and then not only you're gonna bail, but you're gonna be like, you don't do shit. You don't this. You don't like. Come on, you can't. Like one of the things that I, uh, you know, and this is interesting because it's like, like I haven't seen Sneeko in a minute. Like we've been trying to connect and stuff, and we haven't been able to connect. But if Sneeko needs something, it was a couple. He was looking for a car, whatever stuff. Sneeko would call me and yo. Do you know da 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 Whether it pans out or not, I hit him right back, and I go, yo, talk to my man, this, this whatever. Whatever I got. Who came me up again yesterday? Oh, he did? Yeah. What, what he said? He just said, like, I have your number. Like, who are you? Who who linked us up? Yeah. He, yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Are you got a, what, you get a charger? Yeah. That's how far. Yeah. So, um. Oh, so, you got a Dodge Charger? Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's fast? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, but the thing is. You could anybody that knows me and Harry old testament is, yeah. that's the dude. If I'm your I'll, friend I'll, I'll say that I don't want to give what it, it's your story to tell. So yeah. I don't want to give details that you're not ready to give or whatever. I give it. Fuck, I don't care. But, Go ahead and tell but my point is and we also have one minute left in the regular show. But um suffice to say Dante did everything he could to fulfill her needs emotionally, to to try to help her. Anything she needed, Dante provided. But sometimes you reach a point where a person needs to help themselves or has to be happy with themselves. So you can only do so much. Yeah, you if the can't person make somebody is, happy. For you themselves. can't make somebody happy. And I think, per, from my personal assessment, is running from one place to another. It's wherever you go, there you are. People sometimes will run from place to place, thinking that using that is either an excuse or a hope that that'll change things. Oh, America's the problem. America's not the problem. It's you're you're the problem. You have to figure those things. You have to be happy for yourself. And I would facilitate anything for her to be comfortable or whatever. And you but, did. And, and I did. did. But but if you're gonna take that and throw that away, I can't trust that you won't throw that away again. Mm-hmm. Like I just don't trust. And not not in a sense of a not in a sense of maliciously trying to make decisions, but just you don't you 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 don't you're. Your decisions are not based in logic and, and just basic understanding. And then when you try to miss, you want to do revisionist history and you want to act like you don't know, like you don't know who the fuck I am. And everybody knows who the, I mean, I'm not easy. I mean, I, I, you've known me for what, year now? Maybe Something year? like that, yeah. Have I ever been inconsistent about? No. At no. anything? At any point where you was like? No. Never and even if it. it is inconsistent, you'll go, well, what, what a, What's up? Yeah. And then I'll just go, da, 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 and then it will add up. It'll to, make sense. Right. There'll be a reason or a logical reason. And so and Harry's reason, known yeah. me for 20. Yeah. So if somebody, if you're trying to say that I didn't do something and I wasn't willing to make or sacrifices for my son and, you didn't and do enough, wouldn't do this or you're, you're inconsiderate or you're manipulative or you're, you can't, you can't sell that. A big, and this is why credibility is important. Like, if you always lead with credibility, then people, you can't make stories up. Because there's nobody gonna, there's nobody gonna, nobody's gonna co-sign that. 
nobody that knows me would say that that little boy was the most important thing in my life and there's nothing that I wouldn't That's why I was so surprised when you said that. I was like, really? Like, you seemed like you were fully invested in this. Of course. He was. He no was. You loved that kid. He was, you know, you're trying but to make can't. things work, but that only but lasts for so to, long. But you're trying, to, you're trying to rewrite the situation and you want to, now you want to act like change the narrative more, like, we'll talk more about it on the patreon yeah we'll talk we gotta about wrap up let's wrap it up <laughs> but join us over on the patreon Plug if you want to hear more sneak. look me up just google me you'll find me sneak sneak -o. O. great sneak -o. uh all my stuff at harry turjanian that's where all my stuff is at uh all my youtube my comedy links on youtube and if you see me and my girl at a party just give me a little space <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, please don't float your dick oh, unless no. you're a hot chick and then then welcome then you're welcome <laughs> But if you got a sausage with you, just keep it moving. <laughs> so. Keep it moving. Yo, you're everything, man. You can check Google me, Dante. Yo, you know what it is. One-on-one -on -one consultations. Hey, man, we're going to talk about this other shit behind the, behind the scenes. Um, DYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution being podcasted, man. I love y'all, man. We outside. Uh, we outside.